good morning folks, it's Tuesday, you know what that means, and it is here, F1 Manager 23 is here, oh, looking forward to it, so I think, without further ado, we should get into the intro for this game, and get you a little bit, uh, just a little bit hyped Formula up. Formula One, the pinnacle of motorsport, with a global audience and drama to match, all the attention is now on race circuits around the world waiting for the start of the fastest show on earth. Last year's regulation changes saw closer on track battles. Anyone expecting a smooth ride from the 2023 season is in for a shock. With a shakeup in the paddock, resulting in the signing of several new team principals, F1 is primed and ready to light up the world stage. Team principals will already be talking tactics, boosting the confidence of their drivers and ensuring their pit crews make those box times as tight as possible. With a new era of racing now well underway, more teams than ever will be vying for points, podiums, and a chance at the championship. This is Formula One. Hopefully you're hyped up for that, so uh, let's go introduce you to the 10 teams this year. Red Bull took the F1 world by storm in 2022, defending their drivers' championship title and bringing home the constructors' championship for the first time since 2013. The new season will see the continuation of Dream Team, Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez. They're flying high on the back of their success, but they can't afford to rest on their laurels if they want to dominate 2023 in the way they did last year. On paper, Ferrari had a stellar season in 2022, taking home second place in both the Drivers' and Constructors' Championships. But some high-profile errors marred their year, and second place felt like a poor consolation prize to what really could have been. Returning in 2023 with Drivers Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz, and a new team principal at the helm, they need to fix those past mistakes to be in with a chance of claiming that top spot. The 2022 was a tough year for Mercedes. Taking home third in the Constructors' Championship, they broke their eight-year winning streak, and although they eventually made up for an early slow start, it was too little too late. The team returned this season once again with the all-British driver pairing of Lewis Hamilton and George Russell, and they'll be aiming to claim back the crown. They've done it before, and they know exactly what it's going to take to do it again. In Alpine's debut 2021 season, they finished fifth in the championship, and in their 2022 run, they claimed fourth. But will the loss of veteran driver Fernando Alonso stall their entry into the top three this season? Or will Esteban Ocon, alongside fellow countryman Pierre Gasly, a new transfer to the team, be the fuel they need to break through? Only time and racing excellence will tell. A frustrating finish last season for McLaren, who ended fifth in the Constructors' Championship, down a place from the year before. They returned for 2023, with Lando Norris, the only driver outside the top three teams, to earn a podium in 2022, and the highly sought-after rookie, Oscar Piastri. With this ambitious lineup behind the wheel, McLaren are set to fight their way back up the grid this season. Alfa Romeo showed off their fighting spirit in 2022, battling their way to sixth in the Constructors' Championship, with an all-new driver pairing of Valtteri Bottas and Zhou Guan Yu. The pair have proven they've got what it takes, and in 2023, they'll be returning to the track and looking to push their way back up the grid. The Hinville team begin the new season expecting to face tough competition from those battling it out in a very tight midfield. Aston Martin ended the 2022 season in seventh place, although sixth was almost within their grasp. Alongside significant investment and state-of-the-art facilities, this year could be their chance to shine. They've traded one multiple championship winning driver for another by signing Fernando Alonso after Sebastian Vettel's retirement. And with Lance Stroll rounding out their lineup, Aston Martin are primed to push their way up the standings. 
Haas finished last season eighth in the Constructors' Championship, an improvement over past years, but still far from desired. With Nico Hülkenberg returning to F1 to join the team, as well as Kevin Magnussen continuing in his seat, Haas have opted for a more experienced driver pairing on the grid in 2023. With the team's trademark perseverance, they'll be eager to convert that experience and passion into valuable points. It was a disappointing end to the 2022 season for Alpha Tauri, leaving them in ninth, their lowest finish since taking on the new name. But they can't afford to dwell on disaster if they're going to battle their way back up the standings. Now with the signing of Nick De Vries alongside returning driver Yuki Tsunoda, it's time for Alpha Tauri to shake off last year's troubles and prove they've got what it takes. Tenth in the Constructors' Championship is not where Williams would have chosen to end 2022, but that won't stop them fighting. Debutant's Logan Sargent joins for the new season after a stellar F2 performance, driving alongside his more experienced teammate Alex Albon. With the right leadership, the team is set to come out swinging in 2023. Indeed they do. Yeah, look at Albono. Albono looks serious, doesn't he? So, who are we going to be this year? Well, we could have been Red Bull and fired everybody. But then I thought that would be too bait. And uh, as much as uh, I would want to f fire Max Verstappen, it's not happening. We could have been Ferrari and uh, rectify the mistakes that they always make uh, every season. But no, we could do a Mercedes back to glory, take Lewis Hamilton to that eighth world title. But uh, no, that uh, that's not happening. We've already done Alpine. Been there, done that with Alpine and with Ocon and Gasly. So that's not happening. McLaren was a good shout. McLaren with uh, Cheeky Lando and uh, Oscar Piastri. That was, that was a very, very good shout, uh, but uh, we thought no. Alfa Romeo is another good shout with uh, with Valtteri and uh, who the hell is Miguel Baltzar? Never heard of you in your life, mate. Uh, Aston Martin was a good shout as well, um, but I thought no, we won't do uh, Aston. Haas is a, a good shout with uh, K-Mag and Nico Hülkenberg. Uh, at the team, the MoneyGram F1 team. Alpha Tori. Would you really want to be Red Bulls? Uh, you know what's uh, if you take Alpha Tori. Not, uh, not particularly, uh, I think, in that uh, in that moment. And Williams, well, they've just installed James Vowles as their um, manager. So uh, I don't know if it will be uh, raining on their parade with, uh, with Williams. But... Uh, yeah, last year, you remember, we did Alpine, so it's only right that we do the other end of the spectrum uh, this time. So we're going to go from the Alpine to the Haas team. That's right, folks. We are going to take charge of Money Grab Haas F1, and we're going to take Haas to the top. A Haas to glory, if you uh, would say, with uh, Kevin Magson and Nico Hülkenberg. I, I think everyone uh, probably didn't see that coming. Plus, we've got to do it for America. Got to do it for all our American flat friends over there. That means I get to be Gunter Steiner. Yeah, I am Gunter Steiner. I'm just going to come out with uh, Gunter Steinerisms all, uh, all, all season long. <laughs> so we've got to finish P6. And we've got to, as a long-term... Um, thing we've got to do uh, podiums regularly uh, we're a returning manager we uh, we experienced F1 Manager 22 I quite uh, enjoyed it and hopefully you'll all enjoy uh, F1 Manager 23 as well so now that we've all uh, done that let's get signed up let's go check out what the new game has in store for us Team Engineers I'll be on hand to help as you re-familiarise yourself with how things work and show you what's new. First thing I'm going to do is fire you. I am Gunter Steiner. You are fired. Okay? You are fired. We think you're really going to enjoy being team principal here at Haas. We're ambitious and have it all to play for. And this year we want to be pushing on up the ranks 
and setting ourselves up for long-term success. You, you obviously didn't hear me earlier. You are fired. Okay? You are fired. Get out of here. Go. She, she, she obviously didn't uh, take the hint there, did she? <laughs> she, she obviously didn't uh, take much of a hint there, did she? So here, we, wow, I like the. Uh, it's a uh, yeah, okay. So you, you, you're fired, and you're now sending me uh, messages. Okay. So sponsorship is there, all like that. That looks good. That looks very good. I must say it looks very refreshing to see uh, see it all like this. It, wow, it does look refreshing. There's our boys, Kevin Magnuson and Nico Hulkenberg. Tell you what, let's get on to developing some parts, shall we? Let's go. Let's develop some straight away. Let's get to, let's get in there. Right, what should we develop first? I think. I think I'd like to develop a chassis first. So someone's screaming chassis and suspension. We only have one suspension part apparently. Okay, so we got 6.3 MAU hours and we got uh, how many wind tunnel? I think we got about 84 or something in that area. So, because we've only got, like, 10 engineers at the moment, let's do 2.1 MAU hours. And, hold on, 84 divide 3 is 28, isn't it? Yes, 28. My maths is still good. So, everything looks good there. Oh, go away. Go away. Oh, Tell you what, this this actually looks uh, a little less complicated here. Uh, minimum lifespan. Does that do it? Why have you put minimum lifespan there? I wonder. All uh, right, let's do five. So we've got ten engineers available. Okay, that's good. It's good to know. Uh, ten engineers. So we want uh, five, don't we? If we're going to work on two projects, we want five engineers each. Yes, so five engineers each. Right. Uh, normal. How much does it cost? Uh, normal will get it in for uh, 22 days. So my birthday. So that would be probably Australia that that comes in for. And the suspension. Let's do the same. 2.3 MAU hours. 2.1, sorry. I can't count, and 28 wind tunnel hours, drag reduction, this, yeah, everything up. This, this is what we did last time, we upped everything and went really aggressive early on. I don't know what this lifespan attribute does, if uh, I'm being completely fair. I don't know if I like that, that's going to be, let's, let's rush that in, because that'll be already around the same time as um, the chassis. It's going to cost a little bit more. I think that's one thing I've definitely noticed already, is things cost a little bit more. So that's uh, that's nice to uh, nice to see. So what have we got? we got Sakia. Yeah. When's Bahrain? Bahrain? Oh, Bahrain's at the very beginning of March. So that's, uh, that's interesting. Right. Also, I should point out, we're going to have sprint races in this uh, season as well. So... The six races that, uh, let's have a look. What was that? That was a message from Super then. Hope everyone is enjoying the, uh, the summer break. No, I'm not enjoying the summer break. I want to get racing again. <laughs> oh, good old Super. You should go check out the Super 25 Nightmare channel. So you do. Uh... Part of the uh, part of the super championship. Let me, let me tell you. Uh, let me tell you. Right. So how do we? I don't know how we develop staff now because and drivers because it doesn't look like we've got 
to any development points here, right? Pit crew developments. Have a look. This this was the thing apparently for uh, for this season for this game that pit uh, crew development would be a thing. The pit crew are a vital part of our team. Their reliability uh... and speed can make a big difference to a race outcome. When they're back at HQ in between races, <laughs> the pit Super crew wants Mondello Park badly. I know, Super. I know. Super wants Mondello Park in in the in Gran Turismo Seven, and it's not going to happen for him. S can we get some sad uh, hashtag sad times for uh, for my good friend Super? In fact, we'll we'll get that trending. So do do it in, in the comments right now. Job. If you if you've got this far, hashtag sad times and then at the super twenty five night. Put put the timestamp in of this comment and then uh, then he'll know why. <laughs> oh, fantastic! O hopefully he'll uh, he'll get the uh, he'll get the joke. He'll get the reference. But uh, <clears throat> so we can we can do. Pit stops. That's interesting to uh, to see. Okay. Wow, there is a lot of training stuff here. For this game has got even more complicated than before. Even more complicated than I like it. So yeah, let's do that pit crew training for fifty days. That's fine. Toby Brown, who are you? I don't know who you are. Right. So, what do we do now? Should we go to the race weekend? I think that's all we can do, really, is go to the go to the race weekend and uh, see where see where we go from here. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that that's faster. That's faster. I like that. Right, well, we've got uh, an important inbox message. We have an important inbox message. Yes, okay. Key staff. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Testing results. So we're 15th in speed traps. We're slow. 7th in acceleration. That looks good. Around about that midfield area for uh, one week left of the ATR period. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Driver development. So Kevin Magson, 81 rated. Nico Hulkenberg, 79 rated. To ensure your team is to ensure so yeah how do we uh direct your staff to focus on oh where's areas of their development. oh okay so where is the oh contribution there's no race simulator built interesting i might want to look at uh, building the race simulator then hopefully sooner rather than later so, so how do you earn development points then? How, how, how do you... See, that, that's the thing I don't like from uh, F1 Manager 22. That, that I don't like right there. I don't know how... He's not got a race simulator built either. So it looks like we definitely need the, uh, the race simulator sooner rather than later hello pietro pietro fittipaldi you love to see him so do do you does all that come in the race simulator then is that what uh, is that what we are saying right back to the training schedule let's go pit stop time uh, raise and lower the car. No, we'll go balanced, I think. Let, let's go with balanced. Yes, let's go. Let's go with the balanced one. See what uh, see what uh, goes on there. Right, what we got here? We got uh, another important message here. Oh, race preparation for the Bahrain Grand Prix. So, which will be Thursday, by the way. Wednesday for all of my. Uh, Rockstar Tier 2 members. Hello uh, and above, Rockstar Tier 2 members. And above. Oh. So do you go to edit now? Oh, wow, you go to edit now. Okay, so you reach Q2, yeah, a qualifying position. 
I tell you what, if we can get one of our drivers, or both of our drivers, in the top 14, or top 15, I would take that. I, I would take that. Or should we go with just... Yeah, let's go both of our drivers in the top 15. I don't think we're going to reach Q3 in the first session. Close, but not. we are not going to get fastest lap of the Grand Prix. No way in hell. Uh, guaranteed slot. Can we have finished position for one... For both drivers in the top four, 15, please. For a, re for a streak of five. I, I think that... Uh, that is uh, very, very reasonable, don't we all think? I, I certainly think it's reasonable. You guys may uh, may not think it's reasonable, but uh, we'll uh, we'll see. We shall uh, we shall see. But one thing is sure, I'm definitely liking the uh, the new layout. I'm definitely a hundred percent liking the the new layout. So definitely looking at uh, hopefully, you know, getting uh, getting something better. But uh, I think that is going to wrap up the uh, the episode then, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, check out more Rockstar Pool 69 content playlists have appeared all around you. But in the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other. If you can't be kind, be quiet. No place in the world. You can't be kind to other people. We'll see you tomorrow for F123, the Saudi Arabia. Uh, no, sorry, the Bahrain Grand Prix tomorrow. And we will see you on Thursday for the start of our Haas to Glory career mode here on F1 Manager 23.